Hello, welcome back to your channel. And this time we have brought to you a special topic about how to respond to a reviewer's comments when you receive a review of your research paper. So in STEM, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, whether you are a PhD student or graduate students in engineering colleges, universities, or a researcher in STEM fields, you often come across uh, doing, performing your experiment, writing your research work, and eventually submitting it to the journals in science and engineering fields or even for conferences so this guide in today's video will be hopefully useful to you to respond and write a systematic responses as an author to the reviewers comments and the editors comments so right now i have received uh outcome of my review research paper that i had submitted to a specific journal in stem and uh, i was asked to perform a uh, revision for that uh, work and resubmit so i've got one review uh, for this particular paper and the title of the paper as you can see on the screen is about a new application of paper transducer for variable and flexible electronics. So that's my uh, author submitted manuscript. It is about 13 pages. So I'm going to show you briefly what this uh, research is about. And uh, it is the earlier version that I submitted. And then I will show you what is the response I got from the editor and then I will present to you how I'm preparing the responses. So let me explain you briefly about my work and then I will take you next step and then I will take you another step. So this is the title as you can see as I scroll down so that shows you an abstract of a paper. So here this research in this research I tried to demonstrate a novel application of the paper transducers to measure several physical parameters such as acceleration, velocity and etc. So I propose that okay uh, there are already many research to use the simple inexpensive and the graphite thin film transducer just on the paper piece of paper you draw a resistive element and then you bend it that experiences strain and then you correlated uh, that change in strain to the change in output to the change in strain so uh, I presented a few designs with that and this paper fits in the field of microelectronics, measurement, sensors, flexible, wearable and Internet of Things. So after that, I presented uh, an introduction that what is the research background uh, in this field of using paper transducer or wearable devices or flexible devices and how other people have done their research. So I have cited the references in my work. Then I presented a prototyping, how I performed, uh, how I made a prototype about that. So figures are going to be in the last section of the manuscript that I will show. So uh, I said that, okay, I used the simple 2B pencil stress on the paper and I deposited the graphite particle film on the paper. And then uh, with that, uh, I developed the transducer and then uh, this uh, transducer exhibited the change in resistance when it is uh, exposed to the bending uh, compressive or tensile movements that is strain and the delta r was my output that is change in resistance then i presented a paragraph about how i perform an experiment like i said in the figure uh, that uh, I applied a small mechanical perturbation. So it's just by hands, I bent 
this uh, graphite film that is the coating on the page piece of paper that is bent and it experiences change in strength that uh, and my output is change in resistance so uh, i presented them i i said okay i use a multimeter to detect measure those changes in the measurement uh, resistances which i correlated with the change in strength and that was it and then i said uh, uh, this measurement like i said before i put some scientific analysis here about uh, i said okay initially the effective resistance was of this range and after the bending it uh, showed the variations from this minimum value to this maximum value and then i uh, presented the normalized output delta r over r and all that then i put some mathematical equations to uh, present the uh, output graphs and uh, i got the, i presented the linearity then i uh, also measured the non linearity then linear fit and all those things and then through these measurements i demonstrated that i am measuring the movements the change in movements and which is velocity and the change in velocity which is an accelerations so then i said that okay i had different variants of this paper transducers and this is how i performed experiments did the measurements and these are the final numbers about how much is the motion how much is the velocity and how much is the acceleration so numbers that i measured so it was quite meticulous experiment of this simple transducer but the major uh, contribution of this paper is how to uh, do it in a systematic way and this paper was presented to the physics education journal that is published by iop so i'm gonna show that finally my paper ends with a long paragraph about discussion and conclusion where i again emphasized okay i am demonstrating new application that are not previously reported uh, there are many examples earlier about using paper transducer but this is new application based uh, paper the research okay and then uh, there are some uh, other uh, discussion about uh, that i mentioned that it doesn't need any costly or sophisticated equipments unlike the previous uh, research that other have carried out and how i am presenting the sensitivity and its final lines uh, that this transducer can be applicable in flexible and variable application so it's basically to educate the future engineers and the researchers and the scientists uh, they are uh they can refer to this work right so now uh, comes the references and some elementary details which are the uh, conditions about your journals like and that so after references uh you can see that uh, i put up the figure captions uh where i am uh, putting the details about what the figure number one is what the figure number two is and three four five etc so total i have five figures so through this uh, tutorial you are also going to uh, understand this uh, video is going to help you to understand how you basically prepare your manuscript when you first time are willing to submit it to the journal so look now comes my figures so i said that okay this is how uh, my figure one is this is the coating of the paper ink the graphite ink or graphite film and these are the two variants about uh, simple resistance uh, that i am drawing on the piece of paper then comes the second number that is the prototype after drawing it how it looks and then when it experiences compressive or tensile stress or strain uh, how it uh, looks like then the figure number three is the main one that is showing the comprehensive measurements about measuring the compressive and tensile movements so change in resistance uh, versus change in angle is the first top two and then finally again here that is a normalized output versus change in the bending that is angle now you see the figure four shows me the change in resistance again versus time 
and this is again change in resistance normalized output uh, versus displacement the motion and there is a linear fit that i said about uh, this is the value that i got i'm not going to explain you the details of the papers because the focus of this uh, talk or discussion is to give you an overview about how to write an author response so stay tuned for the next few minutes i'm going to bring you that finally this is the final figure which shows the velocity versus time and the acceleration versus time these are the measured results that is so it is systematically done so that's all so when i submitted this manuscript i have got a response after a couple of months uh, from the editor from the journal that okay we have taken the time to review your manuscript and uh, revision is asked and below are the details from the reviewer comments so I address that and i have been asked to resubmit this with the revision so i am step by step going to tell you how i am approaching this issue and how i have prepared the responses as an author to the reviewers comment so stay tuned in a moment i am going to bring you that so right now on your screen you see i have prepared a plain word documents where i am addressing the editor and the reviewer and i begin with the line many thanks for taking time to review the manuscript below are the comments from reviewers and responses from the author of the work so reviewer comments are in the bold that is numbered so the first comment that i received about my work i just explained to you so reviewer says how do author think their work is different from theirs from others actually so this is just below the comment in bold from the reviewer i have a response in a normal way the paragraph shows so i have said that okay we appreciate reviewers inquiry regarding the novelty of our work and i say the novelty of this research lies in the development and demonstration of new applications for a paper transducer in variable and flexible electronics so specifically i tell them i am taking introducing a novel operation to directly measure physical parameters such as angle displacement velocity and acceleration using this transducer so i am furthermore saying unlike previous applications of paper based sensor this research focus on concurrently measuring multiple physical parameters in a single experiment setup so that's the new thing that I'm adding. Finally, I say uh, we believe this work contributes to the field by expanding the capabilities of paper-based electronics and enabling development of cost-effective and accessible variable devices. So I was given a list of other referred work by this reviewer. Here, maybe seven or eight references, he said. This is already, there are many other works uh, on paper transducer. So what is novelty in your work? So I admit and accept that there is already a plethora of research available on the internet using the flexible paper transducer. But uh, the link that was missing there in my work, I have shown a three uh, measurement which are not reported previously. And I'm doing the, those measurements in a single experiment. That is measurement of acceleration, velocity and the displacement and uh, furthermore i don't uh, take any costly equipment to do that it is simple uh, paper pencil and a multimeter so that's why i want to sell uh, convince the reviewer that this a uh, bit of element of novelty in my work next point uh, that reviewer tells me uh, that uh, he says how could another people reproduce your material for example he says how is the thickness and mass loading of the coating onto the paper 
So basically he's saying that how could another people reproduce your material? So I have written this response uh, in a very detailed manner. And I'm saying that uh, the thickness of the graphite coating on the paper was not directly measured in this study. However, I just argue that it can be controlled to some extent by adjusting the pressure during the draw dry drawing process so i just con uh, i just org uh, argued with the researcher that okay we haven't done the direct measurement of the thickness but uh, there is a approach that we can control this thickness by adjusting the pressure applied during the dry drawing process then he talks about the mass loading where i respond that mass loading of the coating on the paper is primarily influenced by the pencil lead used and the number of times the trace is drawn. So I furthermore tell the receiver, a reviewer that in my experiment, each pencil trace was drawn five times to ensure continuous and well-connected network. So you see, uh, basically you have to convince the reviewer in a very detailed manner uh, satisfying his requirement or his concern in each of his comment, then only you have a high chance of uh, getting your paper accepted. Third point, he says, how is the surface chemistry of the graphite film on the paper? Discussing the surface chemistry using these two points analysis would be great. So I am now telling the uh, reviewer that, okay, uh, I am going to add this paragraph in the revised version of the manuscript that I have been asked to submit. So I'm going to explain that. Finally, review say, says, the crocodile chip is directly placed onto the coating of the data acquisition. And he says that uh, there is some problem with the experimental setup. So I have explained him in detail. You can refer to that. So basically you have to uh, argue, convince in a polite tone, and with a scientific uh, explanation, you, your argument should be scientific, technical with the proof. And finally, he says that uh, ha, another comment for which I have written the reply. So that's all about my reply uh, to the reviewer. And I'm going to add this as a file when I will upload the paper in the journal system as a, a author response to the reviewer. And the next point, next uh, file that I am adding will be the manuscript with track changes and manuscript without track changes. So all those things material I will submit and I will await a positive uh, and the final outcome from the journal editor that your paper has been accepted. Congratulations. So hope you enjoyed this short tutorial about how to respond to the reviewer and if you like this video stay tuned for another informative content for uh, from our research center so thank you very much wish you happy learning and wish you happy research as well